D, I love you, baby. I'm actually gonna ring you now, baby, yeah? Hold on, let me. I'm gonna ring you back now, D, yeah? I just wanted to just check, test this, uh, this Instagram live out. Justin Bieber, what's up, Justin Bieber? Love you, brother. <laughs> Quality, man. This is good, yeah? I just wanted to check this out. Justin, I love you, bro. I, I, I tell you what, mate. I appreciate that message from the last fight. That meant a hell of a lot to me. It really, truly did. So, you know, I've been busy flat out putting in the wall. Full focus. Fully uh, immersed in mixed martial arts. It's been nothing but mixed martial arts. So, I'm ready to put on a show. Karen, thank you so much. Ready to go. Seven days. Appreciate all your work for me. Energize show, up the Irish. Been sussing you guys a couple of times. I've seen a couple of clips. I think you've done some interviews with Dylan Moran and that, but I, I, I saw. So keep going, keep up the good work, guys. Wednesday, I get into Vegas. So right last, you know, last minute, I'm gonna get into Vegas Wednesday, the jet, take the jet Wednesday, media day on Wednesday, and sign in and all that crack, and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have the press conference down on Thursday, then weigh in Friday, then fight Saturday. McGregor yacht, about the yacht. What's up, my man? Yeah, the yacht is in cans at the minute getting refitted, and the Lamborghini is in... The Lamborghini is actually ready now. Well, it's not ready. The for, they've, they've made the first one. So that's going through with sea trial, but I'm going to Italy after the fight, and that'll be there for me, so I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Brandon, looking fresh. Thank you, brother. Good work. Noticing you uh, putting in the good work and good luck in the World Championships. Representing the Irish team. We're all with you, brother. Right? We're rooting for you. How do you feel about the McGregor clan style covering Fight Week events for your fans? Exclusive access through your or your or through our social media. I love it. Go for it. I love it. There's just messages coming through all the time. Yo, Joyce. Make us a coffee, Tristan, will you please? Yeah. Thanks so much. <clears throat> I got Tristan here with me. Tristan Kennedy, top nutritionist. Has me in the best shape of my life. Best energy, I've, the most energy I've ever had coming into a, into a weight cut. Weight is on point. You know, it's only what? It's a little bit over 24 hours before the fight, whereas Dubai was about, or Abu Dhabi was about three days, almost three days. So, you know, that's gonna be in my favor and I'm more excited about it. We're excited to get on that scales. Yo, Robbie Keyes, appreciate you, man. Will do. Training's going good, Alfie, just about, you know, a couple more days, three more days of, of work. And then I'll just taper it in. Although, you know, I've been doing single sessions the last week or so. Um, so I've halved the work the last week or so, so the body's getting ready now. I've still sparred, I've still grappled heavy, I've still done tough training. And I suppose the cycle in is probably, is like a, se is like a you know, a second session as well, so. I've, been get, I've almost been getting three sessions a day, to be honest. I've been waking up, cycling to the gym, getting me training in, going home, and then going back to the gym. So that's essentially three sessions a day I've been doing. You can see that Lamborghini yacht on the Technomar page. Technomar Yachts is the is the page that's that or is the is the company that's making it. It's owned by the Italian Sea Group and they're sending me videos of the thing going through the sea it's like a missile in the water so i'm very very excited to get on to that and you know buzzing for it <clears throat> what is my middle name my middle name is anthony connor anthony christopher mcgregor Anthony after me da, Christopher and after me granda. And I picked uh, 
you picked, I picked uh, my granddad's name for my uh, confirmation, for my communion. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate it, man. Oh, it's an honor to give back to the next generation. I'm buzzing to see the Irish team go and do their thing. I know all the guys have been working very hard. I know the coaches have been working very hard. And I'm very excited to see how how, how, how the next uh, round of future champions, future Irish champions do. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce for us live. Thank you so much. Uh, what is your take on just the fight coming up with Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley? Do, are you excited about that? And do you think it's gonna be different than what people are expecting one way or another, or? It's entertainment, dude. I, I can see I can see Dana White going back on his word like he typically does and signing these YouTubers, you know? Because he's a businessman, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, you know, you build this thing up, you're negative towards you, like just like he was negative about Ronda Rousey about women's fighting and just how he was thinking about getting rid of the flyweight division and then he goes back and he's like this is the best thing that's ever happened yeah so I'm gonna see Jake we're gonna see Jake Paul in the UFC in the next year I think so yeah and it, it's predictable man I see Dana dude that's like phew. it's all about it's all about the money do you think Jake Paul's good enough now to beat Tyron Woodley yes really yeah he, he's gonna beat Tyron Woodley this is the reason why Mike and I'm going to change your perspective here. Because boxing and MMA are two different things. Woodley just has an overhand. He doesn't have, he's not a combination fighter. He just has that overhand. That overhand is vicious. But with the eight ounce glove, a 10 ounce glove, you don't you don't have that much power. This kid, Jake Paul, remember, he's a former wrestler. He's from Ohio. He's been wrestling for quite some time. And he's been around some of the best boxers for the last three years in the world. He's actually been taking this shit serious. So for that reason, I'm, I think Jake Paul's either going to stop him, depending on how, or or he's just going to beat him by decision because the sweet science of boxing is just a different game. I had even called it. I even called it with Ben Ashman. I'm like, this kid's going to knock him out within the first or second round. I thought Ben for sure was going to last the round. I was wrong. He knocked him out in the first minute. You know, so that's just the way it is. And that's just the way I see it. Now, it's not that I'm going against MMA. I've done both sports. I've done amateur boxing. That sport is different, bro. You can no longer grapple. It's not just about an overhand. It's different, man. You're going to need some combinations, son. Well, you know, I'm going with my boy Tyron just because he's my boy. And I know he's been boxing for a long time. He's, I saw him at Wildcard years and years ago, boxing pro level, amateur level fighters. He was here doing pad work, doing great. So, I, you know, I, I know he does have boxing training. He's, he's experienced there, but I, I I'm interested to see where Jake's going to uh, be in this fight because it's a real fight, you know, and, and hats off to him if he does good and, 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 and can show that he really is a fighter and he has potential to keep going. I mean, I have no disrespect for Jake if he turns out to be everything that, that, that he, uh, you know, presents. Because, I mean, I'm telling you, anyone that can do it, you have to have respect for. You can't, <laughs> you can't dog a real fighter, and, and he's going to be a real fighter if he beats Tyron. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, these are my takes. These are my takes from watching it, and uh, you know Tyron hasn't hasn't done so well. You know, let's call a spade a spade, man. He's been on the losing streak. You know what I'm saying? There's something, there's a chemical imbalance like in his head that has taken him to that level. You know what I'm saying? There's two reasons why people. There's two reasons why my people don't succeed. There's one, they think they're better than what they really are, and then two, it's just a lack of confidence. So it's one or the other, man. He's gonna have to figure that out. Because I remember I seen Woodley when, the, when Woodley was on fire, he was on fire, you know. But there's something that tend, there's a switch that tend to happen at the, and I believe it happens after your first defeat, your first loss, when you when you finally see that you're not that you're not, uh, you know, that you're not untouchable. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, he's in, a, he, but he's gonna have to figure that out. Yeah. And it, it all goes back to honesty, you know. Am I as good as I think I am? Or is my confidence at that level as what as as it used as what it used to be? Those are the questions that I have for him.